I love Funko Pops. These little plastic characters are physical representations of all the characters and stories that mean so much to me. I've always wanted to see my own characters represented by these little plastic icons. So, I decided to give it a shot. Hey, I'm PJ, and I'm going to run you through the basics of how to make a custom Funko Pop. Let's get to it. Alright, the first step is to make your master plan. You can't go in guns a blazing. You have to have a basic idea of what you want the finished product to look like. Once you have that blueprint, you're going to need a few supplies. Here we go. Two-part epoxy sculpt, sandpaper, an X-Acto knife, sculpting tools, paintbrushes, acrylic paint, primer and matte finish sealer, glue, boiling water, and the Funko Pops you'll be using for your base. To start off, you need to remove the heads from the bodies of your Funko Pops. You're going to do this by dipping the Funko Pops in boiling water. This will soften the plastic and melt the glue holding the two pieces together. If you're using more than one Funko Pop, do the same thing to the other one. It's the exact same process every time. Next thing you'll want to do is to remove that ring on the top of the body. Dip the body in the boiling water and then remove the plastic ring while the plastic is soft. Just make sure you don't lose it. While the plastic is soft, you can use an X-Acto knife to shave away any plastic areas that you don't want. Then you can go back over it with some sandpaper to soften it up. The best tip I can give you throughout this whole process is to reuse what you can. In my case, I really liked the arms from the first Funko Pop, so I stole them, don't need that, and I'm gluing them onto the other one with some super glue. Once you have a nice solid base going, it's time to start sculpting. Grab your two-part epoxy sculpt, take two equal parts from each jar, and then knead the two parts together. Once it's mixed together, it'll take about 12 hours for it to fully harden. I recommend blocking out basic shapes with your fingers, and then dipping your tools in water and smoothing them out. Now we're moving on to the final step, painting. Cover your Funko Pop in an even coat of primer. And don't forget about that little plastic ring from before. Now that our Funko Pop is all nice and primed, we cover it with a nice coat of paint. No right or wrong way to do this, do it however you like. The only rule is don't forget about the ring. It's important, guys. Now our Funko Pop's looking nice and pretty, so to keep it that way, we're gonna cover it in a few coats of matte finish. This is the part where that little plastic ring comes in. You're gonna dunk it in boiling water, and while it's soft, you're gonna put it back on the body. Then you're gonna grab your glue of choice, and you're gonna glue the head back onto the body. And if you followed all those steps over the last few hours, you should have a finished Funko Pop. And there we go. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope it inspired you to try something new. So have fun with it, and good luck.